Hi guys, welcome to Glitch Guru. In this video, we'll show you what to do if the NVIDIA overlay filters are not working even after you launch a supported game. So to fix this, first head over to the search menu and search for graphics settings. Now select the first result that appears. Now in the settings window that opens, click on advanced graphics settings and make sure that the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling is enabled. Once you have done that, scroll down and click on add desktop app. Now locate the NVIDIA app. So go to the C drive, go to the program files folder. Now locate the NVIDIA corporation folder. Now locate the NVIDIA app folder. Now go to the CEF folder and add the NVIDIA app here. Similarly, you will also need to add the NVIDIA overlay app. So go ahead and open the file explorer window again and add the NVIDIA overlay here. Once you have added these two apps, simply click on the first one and then set its preference to high performance. Similarly, for the NVIDIA app, set its preference to high performance. Once you have done that, open the file explorer window again. Now go to the C drive. Now go to program files. Now go to NVIDIA Corporation. Now go to NVIDIA app. Now double click on CEF. Now here you should see this NVIDIA app entry. So simply right click on it and then select properties. Now head to the compatibility tab. Now select this run this program as administrator. Now click on apply followed by ok. Similarly, make the same changes for the NVIDIA overlay as well. So go to the compatibility tab, enable this run this program as administrator and click on apply followed by ok. Now go ahead and restart your PC. After that, simply open the supported game and press alt plus F3 to open the NVIDIA overlay filters. If this doesn't work, close your game. Now open the NVIDIA app. Now here you will need to disable this NVIDIA overlay. Now try launching your game. Once you have opened the game, minimize it and then re-enable this NVIDIA overlay. So once you enable this and go back to your game, you should be able to access filters without any problems. If you find this video useful, please don't forget to like and subscribe to Glitch Guru.